Hello and welcome to this React Redux tutorial and in this video we are going to make a personal to-do app using React and Redux. So after ending this video you have a good understanding how you can work with Redux in your React project. So if you haven't previous understanding if you have no previous knowledge about Redux then you can start from here. I will show everything from the beginning. So what actually we want to go here we will create a personal to do app here you can see you can add your new to do and you, here is a plus button let me just show you uh, for example let me choose any of this maybe I just choose this on and here I just add this tux so for this to add this tux you have to hit this plus button then you can see a new item is added and if you want you can just make any tax completed for example maybe this second tax is completed so to make it completed you can just hit this plus button so if you just hit this plus button then you can see it's completed and now the icon is changed so this item is completed you can also complete any of these items by clicking here if you want to just again back to the incomplete sessions so you can just hit again then look it's back so let me just show it completed here uh, you can just filter based on completed tasks in completed tasks if you hit completed tasks all the tasks that is completed will shown here if you hit incompleted all the incompleted tasks will shown here so here we have a source implements so you can just search based on what you want for example if you want to search respond email so if you type respond email then you can see the search result is showing you can also search for example listening so the one is showing so then here you can see a toggle button you can toggle between complete and incomplete you can make it complete so if you hit first time then it will just complete it if you hit again then it will be incompleted here we have delete button you can just delete any of this for example let me delete the first one if you hit here then it will be delete more properly and the state will be updated you can also delete any of this for example you can delete the first one look it's very convenient and at last we have a mark wall completed you can just complete all tasks at a time so you can just hit this mark completed that's our target so uh, we'll build this app using redux so let's get started firstly we'll start from the beginning so that's why we'll close all of this and here we'll create a folder so maybe we can just name it projects and in this projects what we will do we will open it on vs code so that's why let me open vs code and then let me close all the stuff so what to do actually you will drag this projects to vs code and paste it here so if you do this then here you can see this is the project's name and this project is blank because we don't set up anything here so this is blank now so to install react we will use tailwind css the documentation i love here so you will simply search tailwindcss.com and here you will hit this get started i love tailwind css documentation because here the installation process is very convenient you can follow step by step uh, to set up your react app so that's why i just use tailwind here so when you hit get started then you can see installations and there are some options how you can just install your react app so we will use framework guidelines so we hit this framework guidelines then beat we are using beat so here you can see the step by step guideline how you can integrate your react app with tailwind css by beat actually look firstly you have to create a project secondly you have to install tailwind css you have to configure your template path and other stuff so that's the step by step guideline and we will follow this to create our react app so at first you have to copy this command so let me copy this command you can simply press ctrl c to copy and now back to here so this project is slightly empty now you can open a terminal by here 
you can just press control shift plus to take a new terminal or you can just drag this then you will just get this terminal so at first you have to copy this first command and then you have to paste it on this terminal then you can just rename your app maybe let me just rename the app name this is to do app so let me define it to do app so this is npm and this is the create command so npm create bit at the rate latest this will create a app and the app name will be to do app and this is dash dash template react that means we are going to use react so that's we defined and you have to press simply enter so now it says you have to change the directory by cd to do app so you can just simply type cd that means change directory and then your app name here to do app so you you can just type to do and then press the tab to get suggestions and press enter so now we are in this folder directory to do app folder directory then what to do actually you have to run this command npm install it will initialize node packages right now if you check your projects then you cannot find any node modules so after commanding this you will just get a new folder including all node modules so press enter when it's done you can see a node modules is included inside this app you can see this is the node modules uh, when we just command npm install then these node modules include here then for the next actually you can run your projects by npm run dev you can just use this command to run your projects you can just type npm run dev to run these projects so that's why let me run it and here you can see a local host url you can simply press ctrl and click here to open it on your browsers so here you can see a react project is created and this is the default view of the react projects so this view is from this app sections if you click this src folder then uh, app.jsx here you can find some code this code is rendering and you can see it here if you just remove all of this strap let me remove all of this code and now if you check then you can see it's blank if you just uh, want to try it then here if you type simply ace on tag and if you write hello developer then you can see here hello developer that means our our code is rendering from this app components you can remove unused variables so okay fine now you can see hello developers so now next what you have to do you have to install tailwind css in this projects we are using tailwind css but you can use uh, bootstrap or custom css based on you i just implement redux functionality so that's why this part will be ignored i just show you briefly using tailwind css so next again you have to open this terminal and command this to install tailwind css post traces and auto prefix up. so let me copy it and here open the terminal again you can just close this terminal look our app is running here you can just press ctrl c to close it and y to terminate then can paste the copied code npm install dash dim means also dependency and here tailwind css post css auto prefix and press enter so it's installed and if you check your package.json you will find those two things so we installed tailwind css we installed post css and here is the auto prefix we just installed these three things after then we have to initialize our tailwind css so that's why npx tailwind css in it means initialize and dash p okay let me paste it here and press enter so after commanding this we just get a tailwind.config.js file then next third number step is you have to configure your template path so that's why you have to go to tailwind.config.js file and then you have to replace this code to the content sections so let's 
close this and open the tailwind.config.js file here you can see tailwind.config.js file and this content section is empty but it says you have to replace this code so copy this code and now replace these sections so we'll mark all and backspace then replace the code here after then you have to add tailwind derivatives to your css so that's why you will go src slash index.css and then paste this code okay let me copy this and we have to go to src then index.css and here you can see by default there are some code we'll just mark all and delete it then we will paste our derivatives so we just paste these three lines from here then finally you can just run your projects again by this command let me command this npm run dave okay now our project is stopped running if you refresh this then you can see uh, your design has something like this but there are some default styling on app.css so if you have to click here app.css you can see there are some others styling you have to clear all this styling so press ctrl a and click backspace then all all styling will be removed and now you can see your project is starting from here you can apply any uh, tailwind css on your projects let me just try it if you want to increase the text size you can simply define it 5xl so now if you back then you can see it's big okay you can just add other classes but for now uh actually let me show you uh, here when i just type it's suggesting some uh css classes so how is it possible so if you just go to extension tab then here you will have to search tailwind then you will find this extension tailwind css intelligence this extension will just suggesting me these classes you can see uh maybe font if you want to just bold it then you can see there is a suggesting when i just type font then it's suggesting uh some uh, css classes here so i can just choose any of these and this suggestion is from this extension you have to install this extension okay so that's fine now what to do actually let's implement our app and let me just see what we have to do and what actions we need and uh, what the tasks we have to do here you can see we have a full app is here and let me open a notepad so what actions actually do here uh, we have to just type some text you can see uh, we have to add some type of text let me just note down note here first tax is we have a add to do section so here we will type text and hit this add button so our actions note all actions uh, before starting redux you have to define how many actions and states you will have you can see the first action is to do we will add to do so that's it we can just name it add to do then we can need uh source implement so that's why source action then we need to filtering options we have three filtering so all complete incomplete so maybe wall for will be completed it will be incompleted then here we have toggle you can see let me just remove it here we have toggle so let me just define toggle functionality we have delete seventh we have delete functionality and lastly we have this functionality you can just um, just make it complete so that would be complete it on will be make complete make all 
completed. We need all eight actions and maybe so that's it. Uh, in this application, so we will have eight states and actions. We'll create our action first, then we will create a state. So you don't need to be afraid about this. I will show you a step by step. So just follow me. So at first, what you will do, you will create a new folder. So you will click this SRC folder and create a new folder that would be Redux. And inside this Redux, firstly, we will have to define all these states. So that's why we'll hit this Redux and create a new file. So that would be action types dot this. And here we'll define all our actions. So we'll define export, then we'll define a variable that would be add underscore to do our first action. And this type will be add underscore to do. So that would be our first action. Then we can just copy this for eight times. Okay. The second one will be, let me edit it. Toggle. You can see here we will have toggle. So I just organizing it a little bit. You can just start what I did here. We'll define toggle underscore to do then that would be same thing you can just copy it and paste it here then third one will be remove to do you can just copy it and paste it here actually remove to do so let me just remove extra thing then we will have mark completed you can just click and then uh, let me type it mark underscore completed and then hit click here and press walter and select this one so that we can type it completely same time so here that would be mark underscore incomplete mark incomplete then we will have to select this then we will just define filters filter underscore to do's then we will need another actions so action type will be mark underscore wall completed so that means this button mark all completed this is the this button after then we can just copy this here we will just make this update underscore source from underscore from so all these actions we will need we will total eight actions here we defined what actually do we'll have add to do this is add to do then we will have source actions this is the eighth number is source then all mark as a completed this is seventh number then completed this is fourth number so we all define all the actions type here then we will create a actions so js so that would be uh, let me just define actions dot js file and so we will define all our actions firstly look here when we will just simply uh add a to-do list so that's why we will have a actions of to-do so that's why we'll simply define a variable that would be uh conost to-do uh maybe we will define add to-do and here actually we will just input a text here for example let me just show you we must have to input a text then we'll just hit this 
plus button then it will be add so that's why we will receive a text here uh, and then in this functions we will simply uh, receive we, every action must have a type so that's why we will define a type that would be add to do type add or maybe let me just open the actions first one is add to do so this type we will have to define this type here add to do let me define this suggestion phrase enter then it's importing from our actions types that means we just import this one here after then we need to define a payload payload and the payload will be an object and we'll pass this text inside this payload so that's fine after then we'll just export these functions so let me export these functions so that's it our first task is done for the to do when we hit then a items will add like this by using these functions okay then we need to define another action so that would be for toggle so that would be toggle to do and then it will receive look uh, toggle to do what we will do you, you can see here it is just selected it's uh, completed and if you hit this toggle button it's incomplete now you can hit again it will just catch an id and mark this uh text as a complete or incomplete so that's why it's working by an id so that's why here we'll pass an id and then it will be same a functions and we'll same we will have a type let me define a type so the type would be let me just check the type would be toggle to do so we'll just use this toggle to do and we have to import it so let me import it look it's importing now then we can just define a payload again payload and the payload will be this id so it will just initialize an empty object so inside this objects we will pass this id and finally we have to export this so let me export it so that's it our two actions is done then we have remove actions so that's why simply we can just export conost then we have remove actions remove to do and for this uh we'll just remove look uh, how we can just remove this one we'll hit by an id here uh, please uh, let me show you when you hit then it will be gone so that's why it will work with by an id and then same thing it will have a functions inside this functions we will define the type the type will be same this type you can see remove to do type will define it and we have to import it so let me just import it after then we can just define the payload payload will be this id so similar like this so this on is done then again we have to define an another function so that will be for mark complete here mark completed so we'll simply define mark completed and it will work by an id and that would be something like this and here same thing we have a to do and we have an id the type will be mark completed let me type mark completed and then idea okay that's fine next what on is actually we we'll mark an items in completed for example here so let me mark it an incomplement will just target it by an id and mark it in an incomplete okay that's our task so you can just copy this one and then here you can just simply define mark in complete and that would be work in an id and here we'll define mark in complete import these actions and then it's fine after then the next on is we have to filter to do so that's why you can just copy this on and let me change this filtered to do's okay it will just 
recursive a function so that would be filter and here we need to change the type the type will be filter to do's and here it will pass these filter options actually these filter options will work by a function so that's why we just strictly just pass it filter after then we are just two things left first one is mark wall so that's why you can simply copy this again and paste it here then let me change it mark wall completed completed then it will just receive nothing actually here is the button you can see it when you hit here then all items will be marked so we don't need to define a specific id or anything you just define a button and uh, it will receive nothing so that's why it will be empty and here the type will be mark all completed underscore all complete import it and we don't need to define payload here actually after then we can just uh, implement the search option so that's why this one we can just uh, define update source term and here we'll just receive the source term actually when someone types something maybe read it will just update the source state so that's why we'll define source text or term no measures and here the type will be update search term and it will be receive this search term as a payload okay that's all our actions that i defined i will provide the git repository so don't you have to be worry about this just simply do with me and the when this is done then we have to make a reducer functions so let's create a reducer functions we'll name it reducers dot js and here we'll write our reducers functions so reducer functions is something like it's a functions i will name it to do reducer reducer and it will be a functions let me just define a arrow functions actually and then here a reducer function receive two things first one is a state and an action it will just receive two things and finally export this reducer functions so to do reducer okay that's it so initial state you must have to define a initial state so that's why let me define an initial state here so conost initial state the initial state will be an objects here inside this objects we will have a to do's and that would be an empty array so inside this array actually we will keep all our objects then we will have a filter wall options filter by actually wall then we will have a source functionality so source from actually he yeah you can just check it here so you can just filter by this so filter options by default uh, you can see uh, default means wall when you just add just define default then all items will be shown so that's why we just define it defaults wall and here you can see we have a source options so that's why uh, we name it as a source term here you can see this is a source term and that's why here we will define source term that will be empty so first time we don't have any source options here we have to input text so that's why it's empty then here actually we'll pass this initial state okay so that's it then we have to just write some code here and it's very important we'll use uh swise statement but if you want then you can use if else statement but no matters but swise statement will give us give you more flexibility so that's why we'll use swise statement and at the first here you have to pass a key loop inside action will have a action type so action 
dot action type it will receive action from here so our queue will be action sorry let me just copy this action and paste it as a key then we'll need to define a type the type will be look this type so let me define action dot type and here our first case the first case will be add to do you can see add to do so this is the case and let me go to reduce our functions and the value will be add to do and import it from actions type then we will just return something from here so that's why let me just back it return a statement and then we'll actually return an object firstly we will have to do's and these to do's will be these to do's actually look these to do's and here we'll just simply this will receive an array so that's why array sign and here we'll just mutate the state so that's why dot 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 states dot to do's look initial states so initial states means these states inside these states we have to do so that's why we will just simply pass to do after them we need to define look we need to define actually i can see it will receive text so that's why we'll define text here it will be an object so that would be text and this text will be inside action dot payload you can see it's inside action then payload dot text and then we can just define complete starters so completed by default we make it false so first time it will be incompleted okay that's it that's our uh, first return to do after then we'll define filter options so let me define filter here you can see this is filter you can just copy and paste it here the filter will be a state dot this filter after then we'll have a source term this source term will be a state dot search term okay uh, that's it that's it our first to do is done for the case add to do so if this is done you can just, just make it uh, a format so okay then we will just define another case case studies you can just copy this one or can simply define case and then the case will be re uh, toggle to do here you can see let me just define toggle to do so that's the action type will be toggle to do we'll just define a case of toggle to do let me import it then it will be our return statement then return statement will be an object so here we'll have this same thing we will have to do's and inside this to do's we will just define a state dot to do's we will just map by two things firstly when we map these states dot to do we will receive two things first one is to do and then second one is index number so here we will define a functions and then you can just check index then you can just check this and then action inside this actions look uh toggle to do works something like this it will just receive an id so that's why we'll get this id from action dot payload dot id so if it's then we will pass an object so that would be our do to toot that means a spread operator here that would be to do and then we will just define complete status so completed 
you can just copy this text from here that would be completed and then here we will just define not completed not completed not completed then we will just close this and then we will have otherwise we will just return the to do and let me just let me check uh, maybe here's actions e to index equals actions payload id then we will show this otherwise we will return to do's we don't need to define it here um actually here is the mistake we will define not to do inside this to do we will have completed so that's it actually we will return this uh, we'll check we'll check inside this map if index and id will be same then we will return this otherwise we will return the to do okay so the first to do is done after then we'll have to pass these two things we'll have to pass these two things here so let me pass it after then this case is done then we will create another case we'll have a case of can just copy it and just paste it here the case will be for remove to do so let me remove to do and here we'll do the same thing we'll just uh, use filter method and here we'll receive index and to do's and here index and we'll check if not then uh, we don't need to all of these stuff so that's why we can just remove that uh, we'll check index is not equal to the id then you will return all this to do here actually after then we will have filters and search uh, implement so that's it this one is also done after then you can just create an another case so that would be case for mark complete mark completed and it will just return same thing so let me return and then it will also uh, do this similar thing something like this you can just copy this block from the toggle and <clears throat> make it just paste it here uh, we'll just map this to do's we'll receive index and something like this here will be an index dot id we'll check then if find then we'll just here the synthesis we have to change it here that would be we'll make it true so not true actually true we will make it true and then otherwise we'll return to this and everything will be same after then we can just copy it and here it will be mark incomplete incomplete and the changes is here actually will make it false okay otherwise we'll return everything will be the same after then we'll have filter to do let me just define a case so that would be filter to do and we'll return an object so that the object will be to do and then we'll define a state dot to do after then we will have filter thing so that's why filter and the filter will be action dot payload dot filter you can see if you just check filter options then you can see actions dot payload dot filter so that's it that's filter let me check 
after then we will have a search functionality then that would be search term can just copy this from the above and just keep it here okay after then this section is done we can just copy this and then you can just paste it here you know state of filter to do here we will include update search term and that would be a return and here we'll just keep this uh here actually that would be a state dot filter and then here we will just make changes here a state dot uh here actually we will define action inside this action we will have a payload after then we will have search term so let me include search term after then the last one will be case so that would be mark wall completed so this case and it will also return return it will be objects and here we will define to do's and this to do's will return a map operation so a state dot to do's dot map and here we'll just get to do and then we'll just define an arrow functions and actually here what we will do we'll define we'll pass an object so the objects will be to 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 that means a spread operator to do's and complete completed will be true okay that's it the first one is done and here actually we'll make filter and the filter will be a state dot filter here we'll define search term and the search term will be a state dot search term okay and by default we'll return a state so return state so don't be afraid if you are just uh, make sure that all things is done properly you can check the git repository if you make any mistakes just check the git repository so our state uh, reducer function is created now we have to create a store the store is will be a store dot js and here what actually do we'll just define a variable that be conost store and here we'll use create a store a store from let me get suggestions it's not suggesting maybe it's not suggesting actually we didn't install react redux so that's why we'll just uh, can install we have to install it otherwise it will not work let me just install react redux we can just press ctrl c to stop the server uh, and then okay yes then we have to install npm install redux and react redux we have to install this redux and react redux then press enter then run our server i uh, run our projects again by npm run dev okay fine now we can just get suggestions so type create a store let me define conost then a store will be create a store it's not suggesting let me try to import it conost sorry that would be import something from react uh, sorry gdax actually that would be freedax and here will be create a store and we will use this create extra functions here and we will pass to the reducer here okay that's it and then finally what you have to do you have to export this so export default a store 
okay that's it so our store creating is done and we have to use it so that's why let me close all of these stuffs and we'll open our app.j6 and here you can just simply define a provider provider let me it's not working maybe we can just define provider so let me import then from react redux and here maybe we'll get provider okay so this is the provider we'll use this provider from here so provider and we'll make sure a store will be we will use a store we'll import a store here let me open a store otherwise it will not suggesting a store import a store so our provider will work so let me check our let me refresh it everything is fine if you just you know spec then let me check if there is extensions you can use this extension redux extension and you can use redux dev tool let me add it add as an extensions okay and to use this extension what you have to do you have to import this extension here actually import from uh, redux actually let me uh, just take redux extension in install so for this actually we will have to Im uh, just let me just install this extension can just copy this and open this as an dev dependency let me just close this y and here we'll have to paste it after then how to use actually uh, you will have to compose with dev tools and you will have to define as a compose so let me just paste it here and then we'll use it here after this uh, producer so we'll use this way so let me just add a comma compose with dev tools and call this okay now let me run our projects npm run dev so maybe it's added let me refresh it says maybe let me just try to to install it This is uh, fail to resolve. Maybe it's not installed properly. Let me just copy this on.
this oh well, actually it's not installed properly you have to include dash dash force actually to install this it's legacy pair or just import dash dash force so that's why it's not installed now i think it will be of work right now so let me just refresh it okay we have to run our project second npm run tape actually it's working now you can see dev tool is here you can just check it here if you just check here it will be redux and by default here you can see initial state and you can check the state our initial state is empty you can see our initial state uh, in this reducers here initial state is empty let me just increase it uh, it's too much increase look here to do is empty then filter is wall and search term will be empty of uh, string so that's it our initial state is getting that means we can say our project is working properly uh, you can use these uh, extensions properly okay that's it let me just do uh, starting our app at first what you have to do um maybe for this actually we'll go to create our project so let me close all these stuff so we'll just start from here we don't need a a is true and here we'll create a components folder that would be components and components will have first components will be our to do so that would be to do dot csx rafce and we will import it from here actually to do let me import it then we don't need to import redux now if you just check here you can see to do so inside this to do what you will keep at the beginning we can just design the layout so that's why here we'll add some class name that would be we'll define a max width and that would be for excel maybe and then we define mx water then we can just define is m top m top margin top will be 8 by default and p will be 4 we'll define some background bz 300 and then we'll have to define rounded so let's check here something like this so after then instead of this we will simply define a is to tag and we will define something like let me copy the text personal to do and here we'll add some class name the class name will be m top 3 will have mb4 6 and then we'll define text to excel then we'll define font will be bold then we'll have text center and uppercase okay that's it let me check so this is fine this is fine after then we need this input field and this button so that's why after this in put text and button here for this actually we'll take a new div and inside this div we'll define a input field and that would be text and name will be text id can be add to do input or something you can just name it as at input to do after then here we can just simply define a placeholder placeholder will be add to do after then here actually um uh, let me check so here we will have a add to do we need to add some class so that's why we'll add class name we'll just define flex 
Pro. Text grow will define padding will be true. Will define border be true. Then by default border gray. Border gray. Three hundred. Then focus outline. Focus will be outline none after them will have focus border blue 500 okay something like this let me check here is something and then maybe we can add some class name so that would be text item center then mb maybe four okay so let me check it's full width now we need a button so that would be after then we will have a button the button will be uh, let me import button from react icons react icons we'll just import react icons by this command open it maybe we can open a new terminal and let me go to the specific directory to do directory and then test this command now we can use a button that would be something plus plus button and we can use maybe this button we use let me search bs plus maybe we can just take this type of plus button or p plus just let me check which type of button okay maybe this button actually we need to input this at the top then we can use this inside this button we can add some class name class name the class name will be m left four maybe p will be two then we will define bz blue 500 maybe text white then we will define rounded we will define hover bz will be bz blue 600 busy blue 600 maybe and focus will be outline none okay that's it let's check so react icons base is not imported maybe let me check so it's not imported let me try with a new terminal let me install it again so we have to change the directory first cd to do app then let me paste it says oh shit it's actually we are using dev2 so that's why this warning actually dev2 is not working let me just remove dev2 first let me we don't need this dev2 it's warning errors actually maybe Our Redux is not updated. Let me check. Package.json. Here, let me remove text too. 
maybe let me try okay this is working actually the um, button uh, the extension will be expired so that's why it's not working properly now it will work so maybe refresh it check to do here why not showing let me just inspect it check console failed resources so maybe our server is crashed let me run it again yeah it's crashed terminate it and npm run drive now i think it will work the error was for the extension so now this button is fine you can see this button and after then actually firstly we'll just implement so the buttons after then here what we can do we can just add some value to this so let me just define a user states to capture the value so conost will define new to do text then we can just define set new to do text and here we actually let me define use state use state so that would be empty and after then we can actually just define this as a value maybe let me just define value will be this new to do text and one change in this one change on change handler will just pass an event so that would be events and the event will be set new to do text and here we'll define event dot target dot hello so that's it so if you do this now you can see if you type something hello you can just console log this text right now let me just console log new to do text so let me just inspect and here let me refresh here if you type hi then you can see it's there so if you can see it's there then that's fine uh, we are getting this value so we don't need this now here on, the, uh, on this button actually we will add one click so one click handler here the one click handler will be handle add to to then we'll just make it a handler so honest handle add to do it will receive maybe we can just define it click and let me define it change and it will actually receive nothing here actually we'll just check if new to do new to do and we'll trim trim functions will method I call this methods and then we'll just define not equal equal then zero then we will just do something we'll just call handle add to click the handle add to click from where we'll add
will define an another function so that would be const hand tail add to do then it will be take a text and that would be a functions and we will just dispatch action so that's why we will have to import dispatch const dispatch patcs patcs from use dispatch use dispatch methods and here we will just dispatch this and we will import the head to do functions so from the reducers so here the reducer is the function is so actions maybe we can just check it inside action so that action will be add to do we'll just call this here so add to do from actions and we will just pass this text pass this text and we'll call this functions from here actually we'll just call and a to do functions and here we'll pass to do dot trims inside this then we'll just define this set new to do text will be empty after passing this so that's the first one we just need that then um actually we'll need to define the search functionality here the search option so that's why <laughs> here we'll add control filter search and filter and search okay so let me implement so here actually we'll take a new div inside this div we'll have a filter button and let me just define this search functionality here we'll just define some class name let me define class name that would be flex item center then we'll have mp4 the inside this we'll have the input field something like this input field input field and instead of this actually here we'll create a new state so that would be search term term and here we will include set search term and we will call this inside here the value will be search term and here actually uh, we don't need to define one change here we actually need to define a functions so let me define a function so that that would be okay now uh, we can just keep that actually we can just let me keep that on change inside this on change actually we'll call a function so let me create a conost handle source change and that would be receive a value and this value will actually if you just check these source functions here you can see source term so that's it here actually it will just dispatch sets set search term will be just receive a value after 10 we will just dispatch the actions so the action will be updated search term here updated search term we will call it from here and pass it let me import the term and then here we need to pass the value okay that's it and in a state of this on chains in a state of this actually we need to call this function and here we'll pass event dot target dot value okay that's it 
so it will work and instead of this button actually here we need a button so let me just implement this button and we don't need this one click from here we actually make this button will be be a source search button so let me check here we'll have a search button and we need to make the text here text will be search okay search and let me add let me format this code maybe this is input field and we paste this button outside so let me just move it here actually so inside this div we'll have button okay let me check now this is search button you can type anything okay but here we have some button we'll make this button right now so that's why we will create a new component the components will be filter buttons dot jsx and for this actually let me take a functions are a fce react functional components and here we'll design these functions so uh, let me define class name so here that would be flex a space x will be four and maybe item center okay inside this actually we'll have select and inside this select let me just we don't need to define name and id inside this we'll have some options the option will be first one will be wall and here we'll just define default after then we need other options so let me copy these options the second option will be completed here you can see inside this actions so mark all completed so that's why the second option will be completed and let me make it completed then the third option will be incomplete and it will be in complete okay that's the button and we need to input it here so maybe filter buttons okay j6 let me check it so now you can see this is the button and it's showing by default complete incomplete okay that's it so you can just add class name to this div so that it will be side by side flex items center now it will be side by side and justify justify between so now it's side by side here we'll have defaults by defaults we can add some customizations so no matter so you can just here add some customizations so let me add some class name and that would be text will be sm then we will add px2 py1 then we will add rounded then we will have border border ray 300 and focus will be outline none okay that's it let me check something like this okay then we need this 
mark wall button so after this we will have another button the button will be mark wall completed then we will add some class name so that would be text sm then px2 py1 maybe pz purple 500 text white then we'll define ml2 rounded okay that's it let me check it so this is the button so if this uh next what actually do let me complete it here we'll dispatch some actions so that's why firstly we will define const dispatch from use dispatch hook from react redux after then actually we dispatch some actions but before that let me define const current filter curve cre anti current filter and here we'll just use use selector from react redux and here we'll just define a state and the state will be a state dot filter so you can just check it from here actually uh where is the reducer functions maybe let me just check it so filter from here actually we will just receive c filter so after then what you can do here actually inside this select will add value the value will be current filter current filter after then we will just define one change one change so that will receive an events and here we'll have a function so that would be handle filter const handle filter and it will receive filter item and here we'll just dispatch the action so we'll just dispatch so let me copy this dispatch and dispatch the actions of filter to do so here you can see we have filter to do so you can just maybe check it in actions actually filter to do so you will just call these actions inside here and then we have to import it so let me import this on from actions and we will pass The filter from here and we will use this handle on this and we will pass event dot target dot value and here we will have an app button so we'll add one click and here we'll actually dispatch an actions let me call dispatch and the action will be mark wall so maybe the action will be mark wall completed so let me dispatch this let me input it and then here will pass nothing actually so this button is fine now you can see anything because our uh, this area is not completed yet so that's why we cannot see anything so at this time we have to back to these component sections and we'll create another component so that would be to do list dot jsx array fce and here we don't need this we will input it in this to do sections so after this div we can just import to do list actually okay now we can see here we have to do list and we will design 
these sections right now so that is the end goal so let me close filter button and here actually to do list item and at the beginning let me define conost filtered to tools and here we will just use selector from react redux and that would be receive an state and from here we'll just define curly braces will define conost to dos equal state look here reducer is to dos have a to dos so a state has a to do so that's why to do after then we'll have conost that would be filter you can see filter so filter will be actually state dot filter after then Uh, we don't use comma actually we need to use something like this we'll have conost search something so this is search term search term will be from a state dot search term okay that's it after then what you have to do so let me just check if this text is done search term after then we'll just define a return function so return and then the return will be to do's dot filter and here we'll receive to do and it will be a functions and here actually we'll just try to match conost masses filter equal and here we'll just check this filter equal equal then we'll check this button let me open this button maybe where is the button so completed we'll check this completed from here then we'll define and and to do's dot completed here we can see have defined completed what here we'll use word we will have another filter filter will be incompleted let me just check it incomplete then we'll pass it and we'll define not to do not to do dot completed after then will have another one so that would be by default filter and this will be wall okay that's it after then we'll define conost message source matrix message source So let me just define to do dot text dot to lower case and then here we'll call the include methods includes then we'll just call this search term from the above after then 
will have to return return message filter and then message source okay that's it from where it's coming okay maybe this function is done writing done and after then we can just simply console log this clg maybe we can just define filter to do then we can just console log so let me just check it can just inspect it let me refresh console refresh it maybe unknown select or unknown return at different results when called it same parameter maybe it's from to do okay let me check it actually just ignore this one now and let me add i then this is created now if you just click in complete you can see here is an object this object is an i and the completed false that means incompleted and we are getting it from results here actually from the line number 20 okay so now if we have this we have to show it so that's why actually we need to show it here in these sections we will actually take a ul tag ul tag then here the first li will be something like all your nodes here and we will just define some dot 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 let me add some class name the class name will be my2 text sm then we will have italic okay after that we'll just filter this to do's let me filter this to do's we'll map it then we will receive to do and index then we will just let me just show it let me just show it as an ally first ally first so maybe we can just show it like so maybe let me check inside this area we have text so maybe we can just show it to do dot text for now and maybe if we can just define a key prop so that would be index so maybe we can now show the text here look here is the high if you add hello then you can add it so you can see there are some options you can just filter completed right now anything is not completed so we are just getting the text so we will just create a new component so for this so that would be uh to do items actually to do item component dot j6 and here we will just simply rfce and we'll just import it from here let me import to do item let me close it here we need to pass key props so that would be index then we need to pass to do the to do will be this to do and then here we need index the index will be this index okay that's it so if you just do that here you have to destructure it so that's why let me destructure it from here the first one will be to do then second one will be index okay 
here some error for ESLint. Let me just disable. So actually, it's not disabling. Let me just. Okay, now it's disabling. Uh, actually, the error was for actually for the error here we'll just define this will be eli inside this eli we'll have a div so inside this div we'll have a span tag and we want to show index plus one that would be the numbering and then yeah we can add some class name that would be class name mr will be four then text will be gray 500 something like this then we will have another span tag and inside this span tag we will have to do dot text and here in this div we'll simply Why not it's same thing to do dot text okay it's showing maybe it's actually for yes link let me quite fixed for it now okay so here we will add some class name so that would be flex item center okay and here on this li tag we can simply define flex by default flex call on small devices flex will be row sm devices items center justify between border b2 P Y will be true and gap will be four. Okay, that's it. Let me check now. Something like this, and if you do this, then you can see we have this type of thing. And now we need some button on the right side. And actually, here on this span tag, we can just add some class name. And here we'll use dynamic class name. So that's why curly braces and card sign. And here we'll define MR for by default and here we'll just check to do dot completed then we will show something otherwise we'll have nothing here we'll add line through and text will be gray 500 or you can just uh, want to show text phrase maybe 500 okay that's fine so if anyone is complete then you can just just check that line throw from the line throw okay now here we need some buttons so for this this is for button the tips and here we'll simply define class name so that would be space x3 and maybe ml4 uh, mlh and here actually we'll just take some button the button will be the first one will be let me import icons some icons from react icons so import then we'll define from and that would be react icons slash fa icons and here actually we'll use some icons the first one will be toggle icons so maybe we can just just do that conditionally so maybe we can simply define to do dot completed 
so if completed then we can just show if a toggle wav or can show if a toggle one button okay let me check refresh it so okay we have to add items first then you can see toggle on button off button so it's uh not working right now because we didn't have any handler so let me add class name here and add some styling uh we will define mr2 we'll define text sm we'll define busy blow 500 then we define text white and on sm we'll have px2 by default py1 px1 and that would be rounded let's check let me check it so this is some sometimes like we have a toggle button then so let me just dispatch an action so let me import dispatch conost dispatch from use dispatch and we'll call it and here we will add an on click so on click and the on click will be and anonymous functions and these functions will dispatch dispatch and actions of toggle so let me check the reducers uh maybe let me check the we can just simply type toggle to do from actions and here uh, to toggle to do maybe we need to pass the index number maybe we can pass the index okay let me check if it's work if you just toggle then you can see this is red by default by default here is let me try with a larger text so that you can understand can copy it and just add this and now you can if you hit toggle then you can see it's my line through and it's straight if you just untoggle then it's working so this button is working now we need others to button so then we can just need another button so let me type a button this button will have um, fa check then we can just call the same class name here actually and the same class name let me check so this is checked and here we'll have a one click so we'll call this one click and instead of toggle this will be mark completed and then we'll pass index number so maybe so by default if you hit this then you can see it's completed but it's not conditionally rendering so that's why what we will do we'll just take it inside a parenthesis and we'll check not to do dot completed then we'll take a and and then we'll simply pass it here so look by default the button is gone and we'll also do the similar thing for another one control v sorry maybe we will copy this and then paste it here we'll check 
if to do complete then you know state of check will just define fa times okay let me check so it's time and we can just make it some colors so maybe bz will be instead of blue bz will be yellow 500 okay let me check when it's completed then you will see this type of thing if you hit it's not working actually because we have to change the dispatch that would be mark incompleted incomplete now it will be work let me hit it's completed it if you hit then it's red mark and this button is changing look you can check this so by default let me uncheck if you just filter incompleted then only incompleted shows if we filter completed then only a completed source you can just try with another stuffs let me add so if you default show we have three things if you just want to check completed then completed on the show if you hit uncompleted then incompleted you can toggle by this let me uh i think everything is working and right now mark dispatch this toggle button and here there will be an another button that would be trust button so let me define another button so that would be we can just copy this and that won't be maybe we can just not all of this here we'll simply render if a trash and here is it and we'll make it maybe it will be red Five hundred, okay, and this space will be remove to do. Okay, let me check it. Let me add something. Okay, if you just add others, okay, we have three things. If you want to search something, so let me type start. str Okay, it's working. If you type check, then check on is showing. If you hit this, it will be toggled. If you want to delete the middle one, it's deleting. So lastly, we have all selection, it's working. So our my app is working if you face any problem you can just check the video descriptions and then just check the source code so that would be free for you so if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and comment if you have any issues so thank you